Hey everyone, this is Lisa. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Lisa Monique. Today I have a super great surprise because I have my friend Kat from Cat's Eye Beauty here. Hi, she everyone. drove up to meet me for the day and we went shopping at Sephora. So today I thought we would kind of just dig through what we bought and um, let you know what we think about these things. We actually bought similar things. Yes, she yes, twisted my arm, so yeah. I did not twist her arm. Well, you know, she convinced me <laughs> to buy. I did not. Well, bye, bye, bye. Oh no, I convinced you to get that. And this. Oh yeah, but yeah, mm -hmm, yeah we'll see mm -hmm, if you, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, so let's start. Well, we both got the yes. new Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blur Smooth Skin Tint. This is not a foundation. This is actually a skin tint. Yes, and, and I got 10. I got 8. All right, let's test them out. And I was checking on their website. Their shades are all wrong. If you see them in real life, they're way off because online, this shade looks super dark and super orange. So just for context, if you're shopping online, you probably want to go a shade lighter. Would you not agree? Yes. But they're super cute. As you can see, it comes in a plastic tube. Right. I'm going to kind of try and take off my... Um... And then I'm just going to pop off the top. Now, I am familiar with their ease, eaves, eavesdrop. Eavesdrop? Not eavesdrop like you're listening, but eavesdrop. <laughs> I love that liquid foundation. It's beautiful. But right. I'm taking off my... Oh, yeah, I've got to take off my makeup because I was swatching like crazy. She was. She was the swatch queen in there, and mm. I was just swatching on my arm and on my hand so yeah no. I kind of have some of my makeup on left but I'm testing out the new Glossier stretch foundation which I actually really like mm. so that'll be coming up oh yeah you can. yes oh you got no, it no that's not it no wait did you get it no you didn't <gasps> get it because you couldn't did you not find the shade I did find a shade oh no oh my gosh I got distracted I actually found I did not distract was, you. No, you didn't. It was the house labs that I couldn't. Um, oh, the house labs, you're having real issues trying I to find. I had a shade. Did you not put it in your basket? I must not have put it in my basket. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I was so excited to try it. I'll have oh, to go back. We also got the new concealer from Makeup by Mario, too. We did. Okay, but I did okay. get this Dines Danessa Myrick's <laughs> Yummy, Yummy Skin um, in Universal, which is just going to be a primer. Um... So I'm just going to put that on first before I put on the skin tint. Just, oh no, because then you can't tell what it really looks like because you've got this like great yummy primer on underneath. Well, no, it'll be fine. You can okay. still see it if you go really up close, but yeah. Okay. I just don't want it to. You can always try the, um, the Too Faced skin tint. Well, I just didn't want or that to, um, take your pick, <laughs> make my skin glue dewy and beautiful and it would be this product versus the product I'm putting oh, over it. Right. We'll do one side with the primer and one side without. All right, that means I got to clean my other side. <laughs> and I'm just using my Embryolisse. It is a makeup remover, um, but it's creamy. Your it's, skin does look really, really good. Have you been doing anything different? No, it's just my, you know, um, Needless Serum, my LA Serum. I've been using the Needless. Oh. The LA Refining Serum? Yeah, I love the LA Refining Which Serum. Which one did I get? Did I get that one? I got some sort of serum from Dermatology, and I actually really like it. But I've also been using the Dermalect, the mm. Bacuchial stuff. Oh, fabulous. But yeah, yeah, it's hard for me to change up with skincare. Why switch when it's when why, it works? Why, what's the expression? Why fix it when it's not broken? Correct. Because yeah. then you can take a couple weeks and break it, and then you have to take a couple weeks to fix it again. So. Yeah. My skin's pretty tough, though. Knock on wood. Touch wood. Because okay. usually if I switch up something, then I'll be like, haywire. But okay, so I'm going to try the Danessa Myrick's Yummy a Blurring Balm Powder. Powder? It says Blurring Balm Powder Face and Eyes. Okay. And it comes with a little scoop. And I'm just going to put it on one side. There you go. How's it feel? Feels good. Yeah. Does it smell? Mm. It's hot. It doesn't really have a scent. That's mm -mm. good. So it feels very smoothing. And I don't, I mean, it feels almost like dry to touch. Is it? Is it dewy? Is it balmy? It just looks really smooth on your face. It looks nice. Mm. It looks really, really nice. Okay. Um, I have that in the foundation where it's um, 
color, I guess color, that's mm -hmm. not the right word, but it's very, very uh, full coverage. So you know what, I'm gonna put it all the way up here yeah. too because I want to see how it feels. My large pores are right here. Oh, well, mine are like right through here, baby. Yeah, right through there. God, it feels really nice. Oh, maybe I should try it. Should I try it? Just try it. Okay. Well, let me take some of my makeup off. I'll take it. Okay, my so face. while you're doing that, <laughs> I will talk about what I got. So Kat came to visit and she was wearing the Tower 28 concealer, right? I really like it, yes. Yeah. Can I borrow one of your clips? Yes. They're Swipe Serum Concealer, so I decided to try that. I'm totally into serum concealers these days because they're so lightweight and they don't crease in your eyes. That's what I find. I am also really bummed that I did not get the glossier. I know. I I'm liked so it. Sorry. I'm sorry. I uh, hope I didn't distract you. No, I mean I distracted myself. I just kept walking around. We lost each other, and I couldn't find you for like ten minutes. So I was just yeah. like, I'm gonna check out. <laughs> Which yeah, I did. Uh, okay, this feels really nice. I mean, I can a lot of redness going on here. See that? I don't mm, know what's going on. I'm just rubbing. Oh boy. I don't know. Can you see a difference? I can't. Look at your skin. It looks amazing. That's beautiful on you. Now I want to try it. Let's see if I can get the same effect. I like this uh, makeup remover. Yeah. So it's the Embryolise. What is it called? It is their... It's all in French. I wish they would put oh, it in English. Les Doux de Moquant <laughs> Waterproof. Oh, but on the back it's in English. <laughs> Gentle makeup remover milk. So it's nice when you just want to be able to tissue off your makeup. So you then don't have I, to rinse it off? No. Oh. And then I do have the micellar water also, but they call it a micellar lotion, but it's watery. Oh, well, there like is my face. Water. All right. Did I get it all off? I think I got it all off. Yeah, looks right. good. Let me try the... Should I use the scoop? Use the scoop, please. I guess I'm going to use it on both sides of my face or just one like you? Just one. So you can see. Okay. Gotcha. I'm going to heat it up. And then... Okay. So those that do not know, Kat is like tiny. She's like <laughs> Lily Itty Fusion. Bitty I'm only 5'4 and I feel, you know, like a giant talent next to her. But I kept telling her she has to get closer <laughs> to the camera because my, my head looks huge <laughs> compared to hers. So, you know, if she's closer to the camera and I'm farther back than her head. Faces look more yeah, the same size. Yeah, I screwed size. it up just a wee bit. But we, <laughs> we're twinning today because we're both wearing white t-shirts and we totally did not plan this. Yeah. So we went clothes shopping and saw a lot of bunch of ugly clothes. Sorry. Yeah. I just reach over there. <laughs> I know. Okay. All right. So what are you going to go in with first? I'm doing the Fenty. I guess I'm doing that too because yeah. that's the only foundation I got. And so mine is 10. Wait. What are we supposed to do? Just... Swipe it on. Oh, mine got dented again. Oh, no. Such a nincompoop. Mine's the easy, yeah, it's the easy drop blur and smooth tint stick. I think it's ease drop. <laughs> maybe, e it's, maybe it's easy, I don't know. Ease. It's the easy ease drops. <laughs> easy. Yeah, it is ease drop. Yeah, okay. Drop. So and let's show the shade comparison. This is the eight warm. And mine's the 10. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm just going to go balls in if that's okay with you. Yeah. She has the strangest, um, like, sayings. Well, well, how am I supposed to blend this in? With my fingers? Or should we use a brush? Do you want to use a brush? I did not come prepared. <laughs> Actually, this is going on really nicely with the fingers. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. It's very silky on this side with that Danessa Myricks. It is. It is definitely very silky. It <gasps> definitely blends in better oh, yeah. with the primer. Oh yeah. And it's not gliding over and smoothing in. I haven't gone to the other side of my face yet though, so I'll find out now. Ooh, because I didn't moisturize. Maybe that's why. Oh yeah. You know, I'm such a big thing on prepping. <laughs> I know me too. Oh well. Well, but isn't this supposed to be hydrating as well? It Maybe is. We I mean we did put micellar lotion on. That's true. All right. I like this coverage. Come in. This is with the... That looks good. Whatever you, the primer, and this is without. Okay, this is with the primer. Are you sure the shade's okay for me, Lisa? 
look in the monitor. It's a little pale, even though it looks warm. Well, it could be a little bit, you know, th this bright light, too. Yeah. Hmm. You got the bright light in the window. That's true. I think it looks good. I like it. And you're right. It does feel more blurring on this side and, like, know, it's, really smooth. It's really soft and silky on like the... I like that. Um, I may have to get with that. With the Vanessa Myricks underneath. Mm, I like that a lot. Yeah. You're yeah. right, though. We should have put some of the moisturizer on to just, you know, okay. compare it. But no, this is not like a foundation stick at all. It really feels like a skin tint once you apply it. It is so smooth and silky and light. Usually a foundation stick is super heavy on yeah. me. It feels cakey and gross, but this was, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Okay. What do yeah. you think? I like it too. Should I put the cap back on? I keep, I keep destroying it. Well, I'm just going to leave it without the cap. I really like it with this Danessa Myricks <laughs> underneath. I do too. All right, I'm going to just see if it builds up, though. I'm going to put a little bit on the natural side and just see if I can build it up. This is the side that has more um, hyperpigmentation on me. So let's see what happens. What have you been using for your hyperpigmentation recently? Nothing. I haven't either. Um, um, I've kind of got over I've just been washing my face using my Needleless Serum, using the... An, the LA serum or the drunk elephant, you know, just some sort of exfoliating right. serum. Same here. I haven't been using any vitamin C and, and moisturizer. I, it's funny because I recently did an AM morning skin time skincare routine and everybody was I was like, what do you use in your morning routine? And people were like, and vitamin C and vitamin C. And I'm like, oh my God, am I missing out on something? Because I have not been using vitamin C in a long time. Well, it, it is. Every time I've had a skin irritation, it's been using a product with vitamin C. So I'm kind mm. of, you know, scared of vitamin C. I will say compared to last summer, you know, last spring, I spent a lot of time. I mean, I was living in Florida. Yeah. You were super dark back then. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, you stay out of the sun, your hyperpigmentation goes away. That's so, true. Um, but yeah, once I start back on pickleball, you know, it's that debate. You know, flawless skin, but you never go outside and do anything, or not so flawless skin, but you actually go outside and do things. So it really is, you know, you have to decide what, what the balance is for you. Plus, you've just had surgery, so your pickle days, your pickle days, your pickleball days have been curbed. Yes, so. until January, though. Look at this. Ooh, that's, I'm like, Ooh, you're doing good. I know. I'm, I'm so excited. Okay. okay. I, I'm still ooing and aahing how good my face feels. This feels really good yeah. on this side. I mean, this side, it, do, it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like I have a foundation on. I mean, it doesn't feel like a cream foundation feeling or anything like no, that. No, it's I mean, really it actually, natural. Yeah, both sides feel good, but this side feels That shade silky. is perfect on you, too. Here, close up Danessa. We don't have her. I don't think she'll dry up. You I don't think she'll dry up. Mm, just... Did you get a blush? I did not get a blush. I got this oh, Huda yeah. Beauty Cheek Tint. Ooh. And I got it in Batty Berry. I always go for the dark colors because I need it to Well, show maybe up on I should skin. try it to see what it looks like yes. on a pale person. Oh, wait. You should do concealer. Oh, yeah. See, I always forget. <laughs> I always do concealer a lot. All right. Oh, well, if you want to do it last. No, because then I got your blush on and your bronzer oh, on, yeah. and then you've got, you know, I'm trying to put concealer on. Okay, the Makeup by Mario. I was wearing this around in the store. I loved it. I mean, I was trying other concealer under the other eye, but I was like, ooh. I wasn't planning on getting it, but I'm so glad I did because when I tested it out on my the back of my hand, I was like, oh, this feels divine. Yeah, so I, I got shade this. 340. I have to do it from the bottom. I am doing oh. it from the bottom, and I can't <laughs> Um, I got 180. Isn't it funny that Fenty is so close, 8 and 10, and then I'm like 340 and you're 180. 180. Yeah. I'm gonna shake it up. But I do love the doe foot. It's not, it's like a little yeah. spatula, angular. Yeah. Look cute. With just a teeny, um, yeah, teeny size. I like it. So you can get into those little nooks and crannies. But. Well, it does have a scent, though. Yeah, but I think it has more of a makeup scent. Like, you know, like, to be truly fragrance-free, they have to put a scent, a masking scent, over it. Oh, the irony. I know. <laughs> but. Oh, boy. This seems a little bit darker than it looked in the um This seems a lot store. lighter than it did in the store. <laughs> well, I was... Like, oh, no, this looks good, though, blending out. Ooh, look how good that looks. 
That looks really good. Mm. I may have to get a sponge or a brush. What do you need? I don't I've know. Got, here's that brush right here. Oh, yay. Perfect. Thank you. You know what? Maybe I'm going to... I've got two other concealers. I got the Tarte Maharuka Creaseless Concealer and the Tower 28, but I'm going to put the Tower 28 11 on oh my, my other God. eye. Oh, good idea. So we can compare. This is definitely brightening. This is definitely lighter. Which one? Oh, yes. Yes, the Tower 28 is 11. It was hard for me to find a shade because that the next shade 12 was way darker. Oh, this looks darker though when you look at it. It does look quite dark. It has a similar, it has a similar, um, what do you call it, applicator, but it feels like it's not squeezing out like the hole here is bigger, like I've got a lot more product on this one than on the Mario, which is not always a good thing, but look. This is good, it's covering up all my redness, which is good. Um, okay, well nice. that's a good shade. It's a good shade for me too. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, I don't really go a lot for brightening under the eyes, like a shade lighter. Mm -hmm. I usually just like it to match. But this is just a little brightening, I think. This is super brightening under me. I look like I just saw a ghost. <laughs> look how pale that is. Do I really look like this? Oh my gosh. No, that's way paler than you look right here. I yeah, know. That, that, yeah, you don't. So it's paler on camera than it is off camera. I think it's because the light is reflecting. You know, oh, okay. kind of it's almost like flashback kind of stuff. Okay. I'll, just like... I'll turn down the lights a little bit. Okay. So that felt good too. So there's the tower. Tower's on your right? Right on the side, yeah. Oh, okay. And then this is the Makeup by Mario. Mario. Now, when I feel them, Makeup by Mario is feels <laughs> lighter and weightless. The like Tower 28 feels a little bit more like um, moisturizing. Mm -hmm. It's um well that's a, they're both serum concealers, correct? They are. So Makeup by Mario feels more like a serum that has gone down, you know, and, and absorbed, whereas Tower 28 feels more like you have a... Moisturizer? Yeah, a, a finish left on top of your skin. It feels um, creamier. That's a little creamier. Creamier. But both of them... Let me see. Turn this way, so I... I like that side. Ooh. See, I like this side. Well, I think they look both very pretty, but I feel oh. like I feel like I've got more. Even though this one was lighter, I feel like it it covered this little discoloration oh. more, right? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more, just a touch mm -hmm. more. Yeah, that it had a little bit more pigment. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna put a little bit more on and see if it even it out. <clears throat> I need a sip of water. It is so hot here in Nashville, like muggy hot. So. I'm really liking this skin tint. It's so pretty. Me too. Did you stick your face up closer? Don't forget the camera's up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's look at yours up close. Okay, this is the side without the Danessa Myricks primer. And this is the side with. Can you tell the difference? Go with the other way. and without. Oh, uh, go back. One or two. <laughs> you know, when you're at the eye doctor, one or two. Yeah, it's interesting to me because this side is definitely more blurring, but it almost, you know, to me looks like you have more makeup on this side, which is not a necessarily a good, good thing. thing. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Maybe it'll look better once I put on, like, blush and bronzer. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't buy any bronzer, did you? <laughs> I did not buy bronzer, but we've got bronzer. I mean, I've got... you got a little bit of makeup over there. Yeah. Um, but let's look at this Huda Ooh. Beauty. It's a cheek stain. It reminds me of that Tarte cheek stain that I love, that I used to wear. It was like the first thing I ever bought at Nordstrom. Um, I think in 94 or something oh, like wow. that. Oh, wow. And... Um, That's pretty. Anyway, here. 
Not as gorgeous, but it's a cheek stain, so it's going to be thin. Can you use it on the lips, too? Let me see. Ooh. Well, I'm sure you can, whether it says Oh, or cheeky tint. Blush. God, my eyes are so bad. But it, yeah, so <laughs> it's got that really sheer glow. That's so nice. I guess you have to decide if you want to um, you want use a brush. brush. Here, I'll give you a brush. Okay. Brush. Is that thick enough for you? Like, stiff enough for you? Yeah. It's shedding like crazy. Is this a rubber brush? Yeah. Oh, it's shed. Mine shed a little bit, yeah, especially when I wash them. Oops. Yeah, some of my older ones did, but I don't know. No, it's fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Well, you gotta go. Okay, God. Then I'm afraid I'll get too much. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. Do you sh I like tapping it in, but mm -hmm. then should I swirl it? I don't want to pick up the foundation. Well, you can. Um, oh, that's pretty. Tap it in with your um, Ooh. fingers too. If the brush has got too much. I like this color. This is really nice. Yeah. I've been wearing a lot of purple blushes. It's so crazy. Like I got the new one from Glossier, and I think the shade is called Wisp, and it looks crazy coming out of the tube. But once you apply it on the face, it is so fresh and beautiful on the skin. I don't know what it is about that purple color. And then the about face one, the cheeky bomb one. Have you tried that yet? Mm -hmm. It comes in like a silicone container. They're super fun and super cute. You open it up, it's like a dome and it feels like plastic, the actual product. But then you start touching it and it just kind of melts into your skin. It's oh. really cool and they've got fantastic shades. Ooh, wait, I didn't get the other side, sorry. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I'm going to get in there. I love this color. I do too. So I have to be careful because when I'm blotting or tapping on my cheek, the blood rushes to it. And so then I feel like I've got plenty of blush and then I leave the table, you know, where it's, my skin settles down and then I don't have any color because it, my face flushes quite easily. Mine doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. That's very pretty. Um, I'll be Batty curious. Batty Berry. Batty Berry. I'll be curious to see the longevity on this if it, yeah. it lasts. No, I think you see if and this. Um, I feel like one side's darker than the other, but that could just be me. Do some more. Yeah. You need it. I can just tap. Okay, it. both of these concealers look pretty darn good. Um, nothing is moving into any lines or anything. Oh, that looks really nice. And I didn't set either concealer. You know, a lot of these newer concealers, I feel like you don't need to set. That's true. You know, that they... I get in that habit, though. I used to not set my concealer at all. And then I guess the more, you know, I did makeup reviews, I guess it's a habit. You just automatically set under there. But now it's like, I'm going to start backing off on setting. But I okay. think it's really good on you, though. I like mine. That's nice. All right. Well, let's see. That's all, I, well, that's all I have except for another foundation and another concealer. I actually picked up, um, I've been wanting to try this out from Glossier. It is their Boy Brow. And when I left the house this morning, <laughs> I forgot to do a brow gel. But I've heard amazing things about this. That mm. It's like the perfect, consi perfect consistency where, you know, it thickens your brows. And I so can't open this up. So I'm going to, you're going to edit this part out. That's how I open all my makeup boxes. <laughs> okay. Handy. I know. I right? a Boy Scout. Boy I Scout. Am. Okay. But this is the Boy Brow from Glossier. And I've heard amazing things about it. And like I said, hmm. I forgot to... I wonder if I have that. I forgot to brow gel, put gel in my brows. <laughs> am I saying that right? <laughs> so, yes. you have it? Cool. Well, you really don't need brow gel because you have really good eyebrows anyway. And I have bangs. And you have bangs. Um, what color did you get? I, can you read that? I think I got medium brown. Dark brown. Dark brown. Okay. Um, but I plucked out all my eyebrows in the 90s. So I'm just going to go in. I got black. Black? black. Ooh, I like this. Look at that. Wow, that looks good. Look at that. Oh my goodness. 
Mm. I am so glad I got this because every time I would go to Sephora, it would be sold out. Now I know why. Now I know why. This is, oh, whoops, gorgeous. Oops. Look at that. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Got a big clump. Oh, and I like the applicator too. It's the perfect size. Okay. I mean, I've been using the Wow Brow from Elf. Really been happy with that, but this is like next level. Wow. Look, I have eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really does. I mean, even just now that, oh, shoot. I just <laughs> rubbed my eyebrow. Um, I like how it kind of combs them up nice and keeps them up. Keeps them up. It's weird because well, I do need a blob right there because I have a bald spot. My left brows, brow hairs are longer than my right brow hairs. How strange is that? Or maybe these just won't sit up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. I have a question for you. Okay. What is the biggest makeup fail you've had in the last, let's say, three months? Like, what was the worst product that you tried that you were like, oh my gosh, no way, don't like this, it's horrible? I have to look in my... <laughs> box to you know to, to know to remember hmm. <laughs> do you put it in a stockpile and be like this is horrible oh that yes you were just talking about that today oh yeah this is it my say foundation look at this look at it how it separates mine does that too I so, know yeah. so you're supposed to shake it up however I mean, it's literally, it's so unappetizing. Why would I want to put that on my face? What are the ingredients? I forgot. It, there's a lot of, is it oil? It just looks. It's so greasy. But, it and is there's so. And their slip tint is super greasy too. Yeah, it does not. You cannot powder it down to not be greasy. I mean, I guess if you have super, super dry skin. Yeah, and you lived in the desert, which you used to. I used to. But when you live in the deep south and the humidity is like 84%, it's just going to slide right off your face. Yeah, and it was light. I mean, it was thin, but it's like thin, greasy coverage. Yeah, it was not, it's <laughs> not pretty on me either, so. Okay, so I'm digging this brow. Um, I know. Boy brow, I too. am too. This so. is great. We need a bronzer. Do we need a bronzer? I'm sure, I've got it. She's got some bronzer over there. <laughs> oh, but whether or not, let's see, I need a light bronzer for you. Oh, yeah, that's true. Let's see some of these Sigma ones. Oh, uh, yeah. Here's a light bronzer from Sigma. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll, do, I'll do a medium bronzer from Sigma. I like their uh, bronzers. Ooh. Oh, shoot, it's not clean? Oh, no. No, was... it's very, a lot of kickback. That's crazy. You know, I learned a tip when you're applying your bronzer. You want to hear it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you apply your bronzer, you want to start at the temples and then bring it down because... Then you don't get a big blob right exactly. in the front. Exactly. So it just kind of blends a little bit more effortlessly <gasps> onto the skin, and you don't put as much product down here. Well, I was watching a Instagram video from can't remember her name, but she's the creator of RMS Beauty. You know, mm -hmm. it's kind of like Bobby or Jones Road is like always in my Instagram feed. Like, right. Um, and she said, you should put your bronzer here. Just like, because bronzer is supposed to make you look sun-kissed. So right. you need to do horizontally, horizontal. not <laughs> horizontally. Don't make fun of how I talk. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just trying to envision going straight across your yes. forehead. She said... Like this, because that's where the sun actually hits you. So I'm going to try that. You're going to try that? Yeah. Okay. Where, where'd my mirror go? What? Did, oh, I left it over there. <laughs> okay. I'm scared. Okay. Good luck. I can't tell if I even look paused. This is like... Good. It's a little pale for you. Yeah. What shade is that? Medium? Medium. Yeah, so hers was instead of using it to contour, you know, your bronzer should be bronze. But I really think this is too light for me. Yeah. I'm going to, here, give that to me. Because I think I usually use medium <laughs> at home. Let me just, this, this light is a little too light. 
I do like this bronzer though from Sigma and their blushes are really nice too. It's pretty. Well, I think because I broke it. Which one is that? The Charlotte Tilbury powdered one. Oh, I haven't used that in a hot minute. Wow. Yeah, I can see how. Oh yeah. I broke it. All right. Do you prefer that one or the cream one from well, Charlotte Tilbury? I usually use a cream one, but since I'm trying to go across the top, <laughs> I think it might be hard to do the cream one across the top. Oh, I can tell it totally when I get over my nose, it makes me look sunburned because, you know, you always get that that sunglass <laughs> nose. Well, that is accurate, I guess. If that's the look you're going for. I guess maybe I should try it across my nose just to look like you. Let's try that. <laughs> I'll try the medium. <laughs> oh, no. This is not a look for me. I know, now my nose looks huge. Mine does too. <laughs> oh, no. That's not right. Okay. Here, has a, have a sponge. Thank you. Now I just look like I have a red nose. Well, that'll come down. Okay. All right. That's, I'm fine. It's. Um, I do feel like it looks like I've got sun. It does. It really <laughs> does. I do think that kind of worked. And then I got the Tarte Creaseless Maharuka. Is that how you pronounce it? I used to, I say maracuja. I don't know. Who's pronouncing it right? Lisa or me? Mara. Kuha? Or maracuja? I don't know. I don't know. Was that the concealer? Yes. Is that new? Yes. Oh. I think it was new. There's so many new concealers coming out right now. There's I cannot thick. keep straight. Let me put it on the back of my hand because it is thick. This is definitely, if you have really Ooh. dark circles and you need coverage. Lots of coverage, yeah. Um, it, it feels thick. So it'll be, but it's very dewy. Can you see how shiny? That is pretty though. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, so it'll be interesting to see. Gosh, it is very glowy. Mm. It'd be interesting to see if it um, moves into the creases. You know how many new concealers have come out in the last month and a half alone? You've got the Tarte from Maracuja or Maracuja. You got the Tower 28 Serum Concealer. You got the Makeup by Mario Concealer. Tula came out with a concealer that I absolutely cannot stand. I haven't shown it on camera yet. It is so bad. I should return, return it. And then, um, oh, and House Labs is going to be releasing their new Triclone concealer. And that House Labs is by Lady Gaga's, Lady Gaga's uh, makeup brand. Love the Triclone foundation. I know you didn't. You're like, mm. Well, I finally matched myself today because I, I bought it a couple times and kept, it was hard to get a, a good shade match. But then I was like, it's just kind of heavy and, you know, more medium to full coverage feeling. Yeah. And right now, everything's a skin tint. Everything I like how skin it's a skin tint. I, I like how it feels. I knew I would buy it, and it would I would never use it. Yeah. I, but I like it during the cooler months, I have to admit. And I've got a weird shade. It's 190 Cool, which I'm actually warm. But it just works on my skin, so. <gasps> what? Maybe it's like MAC, that cool is... Oh, like the opposite. Yes. Oh, because remember, mine was yes. warm and you said mine was pink on me. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Mm, I, wonder, I really do feel like it looks like I've got some. <laughs> Every time when I look there, I'm Not like, oh, like, But on the nose, man, it just made our noses look really big. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm excited to try the Triclone concealer. And I think it's a serum concealer, too. Everything's going serum. Everything's going lighter. So, mm -hmm. but, you know, Lisa and I were talking earlier about how eventually the tides will turn and then the new look will be matte makeup. Yep, so it's coming. Like they say it's coming. Yes. Yeah, so. Where did my my foundation go? Which one? The one that I'm wearing. That oh. one? Right there. Yeah, this one. <laughs> and that one. <laughs> now I did get a gloss. Oh. Yes. Yeah, um, it it's a uh, Sephora lip gloss. You know. I and like Sephora brand. Yeah. Uh, but it's the gloss. And this is the shade Blessed. And I just thought it was such a beautiful, cool tone, mobby yeah. nude. But there is a e.l.f. Hydrocore lip balm that I love. Oh my gosh. And now the shade escapes me. But I always put it on because it's such a beautiful, cool tone, mobby shade. And then this looks almost identical to it. But I love a little doe foot. It's very glossy. Mm. And yeah. Really nice gloss. Not sticky. Beautiful shade. Yeah. This is really lovely. Wow, this side is really blurred with that Danessa Myrick stuff. Okay, so this <clears throat> is the Sephora brand one that oh. I like. Oh, it's got a hairband on it. Oh, 
and it is O2. Get the magnifying glass. <laughs> O2. Um, outrageous, and mm -hmm. it is there. This look a little bit paler. Yeah. No, no, yours is deeper. So it's a lip plump effect. Oh, cool. oh no, it's outrageous plump effect. So it's a plumping gloss. Yes. In O2. It doesn't have a name? Well, Outrageous Plumping Gloss, I think, is the name. Oh, but the shade, the shade, the shade is, O2. is O2. Okay. Ooh, tiny, tiny, tiny little dough. Oh, that is little. Is it a plumper? Does it sting? No, it doesn't sting. Is it minty? No. It's just a very neutral gloss. That's pretty. Yours has more color, definitely. Yeah. I like yours. I like it, too. It's mm -hmm. not sticky at <gasps> Ooh, all. Oh, it's tingling. Oh, then it is a plumper. It is a plumper. It's a plumper. I wonder if I put a little bit of this on top. <laughs> Don't let you laughing at me. I'm not laughing Sorry. at you. I'm laughing with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like a little color. Yeah, that looks good. What eyeshadow do you have on today? Um, Mine's kind of... I put on Makeup by Mario's, um, the Super Nudes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm loving the I Need a Glam Nude Palette from Natasha Denona. Mm. It's so beautiful. I love it. And then for the crease color, this brown is um, the new one by Merit, the Solo Cream Shadows in Brune. And then I just put a little bit of sparkle from the Natasha Denona palette, and it just... Well, it stay, they're staying stain. on. Yeah. yeah, well, that cream shadow, it's a cream to powder, so it really stays on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen people do swatches, and mm -hmm. they're, like, literally washing their arms, and it does not come off. So, yeah. But you have to work fast with that cream shadow. Yeah, I didn't get any NPR. Um, they have so. that Sephora. I know, but I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> well, I'm liking this look. I like the blush. Okay, so what are your faves from this Haul, um, this try on haul. Um, loving the blush. The blush is very pretty. Loving the blush. And I really am loving, loving, loving this. Oh, yeah. The blurring the, primer. Yeah, the blurring primer. And I really like the stick. The stick's great. It really is. And it's, remember, it's a skin tint, so it's not going to give you full coverage. It's, it really does perform like a skin tint. It's very lightweight. And both. Concealers, to me, I mean, honestly, I, I don't really see a whole lot of difference. I don't either. I don't either. There is a price difference, though. I believe the Tower 28 is $22 and the Makeup by Mario is $29. So mm -hmm. just bear that in mind. There's kind of a difference there. but And the Makeup by Mario is a little drier to the touch. Mm -hmm. And this one is more serum-y. Because it is a technically a serum concealer. Yeah, but see, I think of a serum -y as being like thinner and I feel like the tower 28 leaves more of a leaves more of a finish a finish than mm. the, than the other one but but they both look good I like it I definitely love the uh, boy brow yeah that's look good for they're the win they're for sticking, me your little hairs are sticking they're right like up. saying hello I'm up yeah, I'm there too. you look nice Wow, yeah, I love the boy brow. Um, I'm on the fence about the concealer. I'm thinking it's too light for me, but then I just have to, you know. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. It looks darker in the store. Mm -hmm. So you can exchange it, take your box with you. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, and I can always exchange it in Chattanooga. I do yeah. like the skin tint, it's beautiful. Love this primer. Yeah, the Danessa Myricks, but and the gloss is fantastic. But I think my favorite is going to be the boy brow. Yeah. And brows are important; they frame your eyes. So, yeah, I'm still thinking I'm really digging this. The blush, yeah, yeah it's beautiful. I mean, granted, right up here now I've got the bronzer on top of it too. But <laughs> are you going to continue to do your bronzer like that now, Lisa? I don't know. Maybe for the next day or two. Pretend you went to Florida. I just went to Florida really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it looks good. I think we look uh, very fresh. Very fresh, very lightweight makeup, easy, yeah. everyday makeup. I, I like doing everyday makeup. It's, yeah. You know, so. Me too. Okay, so this is another long video because all my <laughs> videos are super long nowadays. I used to like hate 
long videos. Well, why are people doing long oh, videos? Nobody so wants to watch long videos. Nobody video. watches them anymore. But, I don't know. It's just easier sometimes. But anyways, make sure you go check out Kat's channel, Kat's Eye Beauty, um, if you want to see more of her makeup reviews. And as always, appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for having me. Yay. <laughs>